Hi friends, today me and my group members are here to present a role play on the topic gravity in the lesson gravitation. So I'm Kanish Kashri and my group members are Monisha, Suresh, Bhuvaneshwaran and then Rahul. Friends, the scene is three friends are standing in a park and then they are discussing about the, about the classes which they have attended. And one of them are is throwing a ball and then the other is questioning that why does the ball which is thrown up comes back down? Why everything's throw ups come down? I know why everything thrown up comes down. How is it? Please share it with us. It is because of gravity. So friends, gravity is nothing but it is a force that pulls things towards the center of the earth. It is very interesting. Please tell us more about gravity. Come on, let's explore the force of gravity. So friends, if you had won a lottery, what would you all do? I jump up and down and scream. Then friends, when we jump, why do we land on the ground instead of floating in the sky or in the air? Why it is very interesting question. It is because of the force of gravity. It pulls things towards it, including you and then me. Just imagine if there was no gravity on earth. We all would fly in air, including water, animal and even food. An English scientist, Isaac Newton, first discovered about gravity. And then you guys know that there is a very famous story about him. I know the story. Please narrate the story for us, Monisha. Once Isaac Newton was sitting below an apple tree and fastened asleep. Suddenly, an apple fell on his head and there he began his investigation on gravity. Why did the apple fall down and not up or to the sideways? That's only Isaac Newton comes to know that there are special power acting to uh, under the earth which pulls apple also. No matter whatever we drop friends like the pen, pencil, books or anything, it has to land on the surface of the earth. Due to this only, he concludes that what goes up comes down. What happens if you throw something in front of you or to the left or to the right of you? No matter where you throw the ball, it's, it is going to down. Yeah, everything thrown by any direction falls down. In astronomer reach southern part of the earth, how the gravity going to be? It is like this. I know a penguin who can answer this question. In case of gravity, when we refer to the word up or down, it does not mean the word that we are used to. Up means away from the gravity. Then down means towards the gravity. In case, now it is in the case of earth. Like up refers to away from the gravity of earth and down refers to towards the gravity of earth. Friends, now let's see a demonstration of an activity. So friends, let us see a demonstration. So for this activity, we will need a ball, a rubber band and your index finger. So first, we'll assume this ball to be the earth and then this band to be the gravitational force. So let me put the band across the earth because gravitational force is all around the earth. So now we'll assume this my index finger to be the penguin. So the penguin is on the surface of the earth. So, when the penguin tries to jump, it's going like this. And then, because of the gravitational force, when you don't put force towards the upper part, it comes back immediately. So, this is the same way where the penguin experiences. 
So let me tell you how the penguin experiences. So friends, as I showed you this picture already, we should not assume uh, like this is the surface of the earth and the penguin is upside down in the southern part of the earth, like the below part of the earth. It's like same on the earth. It's going to be like this. And when the penguin jumps, it comes back down as we had seen in the demonstration. So guys, there is a statement. In this case, earth is a very big object, like it has more mass and the penguin has less mass. Less mass gets attracted, like it's getting pulled by the gravitational force by the bigger mass. So only the penguin is getting pulled as the same uh, principle or the same statement occurs to humans also. We are all less, less weight compared to the earth. So we are also getting pulled and such as the others. So friends, no matter on earth, any object is, it gets pulled towards the center of the earth. Guys, I have a question. Do anyone know what are the two factors that affect the earth's gravity? The distance between the object and the size of the object. All things in our planet, gravity will some way have the propense to fall some one earth but object falls differently. Friends, let us investigate how two things fall on earth. Do they fall on the same time or they are different in time? Before that we should know about two times, right? Yes, they are mass and weight. So guys, I will tell you about mass and then weight. Mass is the measure of how much a matter is in an object, whereas Weight is the measure of how much heavy an object is caused by gravity pulling on an object. So friends, let us see the demonstration of the activity. So friends, now we are here to see the demonstration. For this demonstration, we need two papers of the same size. And then we are not going to use that of the same. One should be crushed and the other should remain same. So I'll tell you the main thing, how we have to do the pro activity. We have to leave the crushed paper as well as the normal paper down. And then below you can see a line over there, like from the tiles, that we are going to consider when it is getting pa pa passed. And then we are going to check the time. So one crushed paper and then one normal paper. And then one normal paper. So let us throw it from the same distance. That is very particular. You can see that first the crushed paper fell down. And then later the normal paper fell down. I'll tell you why. Guys, now... For instance, we'll take two objects like a hammer and a feather. On earth, it does not fall on the same time. Whereas in the moon, it falls on the same, same time. An astronaut named David Scott performed this experiment on the moon. What does the moon, moon does not have and what does the earth have? Or what is the difference why, the, why things fall on the same time? on moon and not on earth. It is because of the atmosphere. The gases that make the earth's atmosphere put push against the objects as they fall. The push against objects causes friction between moving object and the air. We call that particular uh, term friction in the air as air resistance. So we can come to a conclusion that it is the resistance of air pushing against objects that really affect how fast they fall. So this is the conclusion what I have come to from this experiment. And then the feather falls slowly because of its flat and fluffy shape as we did it in the demonstration of the normal paper. It was flat so which is why as the feather it took time but in case of hammer it was a bit solid. 
so it took less time and as they crushed paper so this is the conclusion which which i have come to air resistance plays a very important role in the earth's atmosphere like when we throw two things it does not land on the same time so that is the fact or air resistance is behind why time uh, why two things when thrown from a particular height does not reach on the same time right today we have learned a lot of things about gravity right Oh, it's already getting late, guys. I shall see you tomorrow in school. Bye. Bye.